So, I think I figured out the thing that rubs me the wrong way with Elon Musk. Now, I've never been someone who thinks he's as fucking cool as a lot of people do. And I've never been someone who, like, fucking just hates him. Like, he's a supervillain, the way a lot of people do. Um, you see it more on Twitter. and Fuck Twitter, but, you know, it is. It's what you see. And, uh, unfortunately, Twitter dictates a lot of, like, how conversations go. But uh, I think what rubs me the wrong way is that when he's doing his math, his genius math, he doesn't include poor people in the equation. You know, it's like, oh, people will never run out of resources. Yeah, rich people will never run out of, you know, like, resources. Like, if you can afford it, don't worry about gas or anything like that, which is kind of ironic because, you know, he's making electric cars, you know, one breath he's talking about the catastrophe that we're facing with climate change the next breath he's saying don't ever worry about running out of resources on Bill Maher and still telling people to have more kids which what's the reason behind this I think it's great that like people are choosing not to have kids um yeah they're doing it by choice but like I think they want the minions they're like oh shit who's gonna take care of this aging population who's gonna fucking bring fucking Grubhub to my door who's got all the shit jobs that they never want to do uh you know, I think that's probably a big part of it. You know, they're all aging, and people are not having kids. Who's going to take care of them? Like, fucking China and shit's running into the same problem. All right, notification, go away. Anyway, a little bit scattered all over the place, but I do think, in a nutshell, that is what rubs me the wrong way. Because when he's doing his math, poor people aren't even part of the equation. Like, all these, like, fucking, like, you know, poor fucking... Just... Assholes who think he's the best, you know, who still think that somehow billionaires are going to save the world. You know, capitalism, fucking extreme capitalism, rugged, rugged individual is great because they give to charity. It's like, dude, those charities that they give to, that's for fucking tax write-offs. Most of that shit, and you can, like, fucking research this, it never sees the light of day for, like, the actual charities. It's just a form of getting tax write-offs. And... I just, like, no, billionaires are not going to come swoop in and save the earth. They're going to swoop out and fucking fly to Mars. And, you know, hilariously enough, they'll probably suffer a fucking power outage on Mars, not be able to breathe, and just all fucking die up there. But, um, anyway, yeah, I, I don't like it when people don't include poor people. Like, you know, this is the Chinese, you know, Chinese government apparently owns TikTok. They are a country who kills their own people for drugs. They have the death penalty for drugs, yet all of this fentanyl that is wiping out, it's phasing out every drug on the street, and it's just killing everyone around me, uh, you know, it's coming primarily from China. So it's not a big leap to say, okay, a country that kills its own people for drugs is making a drug that's killing all our people, when the way I see it is, Fuck poor people, kind of like Elon Musk, fuck poor people, you know, if they're too poor to buy my products, if they're too poor to, you know, and everything's made in China, fuck them, let them die. And I think there's plenty, you know, facets of our own government who are more than happy to uh, step aside while fucking poor people are essentially being executed. And, um, of course, that will bleed out like it always does, but it takes, unfortunately, someone's, someone important, their kid dying before anybody gives a shit. Same thing with, like, crack in the 80s, nobody gave a shit when it was just, like, fucking, you know, black communities, things like that. Then started to drizzle out into, like, fucking white, you know, families, like the opiate epidemic, then suddenly, oh, we've got all these miracle drugs like Suboxone. Um, which is great, those things are great. And, you know, like, we're living in a time when the world has just gone fucking insane. I'm sorry, this has got a lot, lot longer than I wanted it to, but... And people need something. There's nothing wrong with needing something. Don't fucking make people feel bad for that. And, uh... I don't know. There's just... There's so much to go into. I would be here all fucking day. But, uh, I'll leave it at that. Like, Elon, that's why I think he's an asshole. He's just... Yeah, he, he's not including the average person in that. Because, yeah, these people think like, oh, I'm going to go to Mars with Elon. No, you're not. No poor person is going to be on a ship with Elon. You're fucking poor, you dumbass. Like, you're fucking not going to be on a rocket to Mars. And uh, even if you do, we got a lot better planet right here where we can actually breathe for now. But we'll see. It's crazy to know where it's all going. But it's hard to be optimistic about it. I see people who are like, humans can be innovative and we can solve these problems. Like... Are we, though, are we more innovative than we are greedy? Because I think the greed outweighs the innovation. And, you know, 
like I said, it's just hard to be an optimist. Okay, anyway, we'll see if I post this bullshit. I, I'm sorry.